Good evening. This is Tina. And、uh, how are you doing today? This is gonna be the last video from me today. It's getting late and、uh, I feel really tired today. Because after the course, we had a very long meeting. Then pushed all my things like two hours later. So that's why today I start recording the video late. Then I cannot,、uh, I shouldn't stay late because otherwise tomorrow、uh, I won't have, I won't,、uh, I will not be. What should I say? Alert, or stay calm, or oh, anyway, just be ready for tomorrow. Okay, we should go to bed early. So in this video, we are gonna talk about、uh, middleware, express application. It's all about middlewares. Okay, so、uh, middleware is a very very useful pattern. Which allows the developers to reuse the code. You can also we can also develop a middleware, express middleware, and also register in npm js、uh, repository and share with others. And there are tons of、uh, middlewares、uh, in the npm re、uh, repository.、Uh, they are ready for your use for your. Express application, and、uh, we will look at、uh, and use these middlewares one by one. So middleware provide a way to share your code. Now let's take a look at what middleware is. Okay, in the Express middleware is a function. Middleware in Express is a function. And this function contain three、uh, parameter. One, ah,、uh, sorry, three parameter. The first one is the request. The second one is the response. The third one is the next. And、uh, if you watch my previous video, you already see a middleware being used when I when we handle the、uh, incoming request for slash or slash users, we attach a middleware there, right? So, what is the request? Request is like you using plan、uh, HTTP. Ah,、uh, sorry, plan node node、uh, module HTTP. It gonna read. It can you can get a URL. You can get the request information and what a response. Response is、uh, you want to send the information back to the uh, uh browser. Next is a special. Next has、uh, for for the next is a function. Okay. These two is objects. So function, then we have to call, right? To call function when using next, when using next, and if I remember correctly, is a route and the next something else, anything else. It's different. So when I call this next, it's gonna be, it's gonna be、uh, pass to next middleware. Let me give you one example. Okay,、uh, suppose here. This is our request that comes from the browser. When it get into your、uh, Express application, it will go through lots of the middleware. Okay, here we will go to the middleware. And、uh, here we'll go through lots of the middleware. Eventually, you will response, right? Okay. What are those middle? Middleware is a function which has a request object, a response object, and next. Okay. And here inside this、uh, body, function body, you do your task. And、uh, 
in order to go through all the middlewares. On the first middleware at the end, you have, have to call next. Without calling next, it won't go to your next middleware. Okay, like a request, a response, next. If you allow your request can go through, then you have to call next. Once this middleware is done, that's next doing. Pass the request to the next middleware. Okay, and the next have a route here means pass, skip. Skip current middleware. Oh, mm, I think skip current middleware. I can say that. Oh, or route. Okay, middleware. Just uh, don't do nothing. Skip it. And for next, uh, anything else, it means uh, go to error handling. Um. Okay. Um. This part we will also talk about later, okay? And uh, now let me show you the example of some middleware, okay? Let's go to our source code. This is a middleware. This is a middleware. When using app.use, you can give a function here, which contains request re response. Uh, next as a parameter then you are creating you are using a middleware and we can also do like this use request response next and uh, I I will do like this console log this is a middleware Middle, middle, where always being called, and so when when you write a code like this, when the incoming request comes, it will go through the middleware first. See, does it match here? And uh, here it doesn't have any URL, right? So it matches all URL. So it's gonna go inside, and uh, when it go inside, it will print this. But I didn't have any instruction, okay? If you do that, just hang in there. So if you say, I allow, we pass to next middleware, you have to call next. Then you will go through, go through to here. Yes, the URL match this one. If it match this one, it will go, go to uh, this middleware. And if it doesn't match, it's gonna skip and it go here. Does the URL match this one? If it match, it will go inside. If eventually, uh, in this case, it, we won't have. If it doesn't match anything of them, it's gonna throw 404. Okay, so now let's do a test, okay? Uh, suppose I will go to a slash user. Here you will see something. Okay, see here, uh, it will show the slash users in the browser. And meanwhile, you can see here, console log, this is the way always being run, see here. And now if I go to slash, okay, you will see hello from express, but you will see this middleware always being called, it's still here. Now let's comment this next to see what's gonna happen. Okay, come on next and go to slash, see. It's always there because you didn't finish. You this is middleware being called and you, there's no response. He doesn't know what's going what's going to do. Okay, so it's always uh, see the, the, this what's thing uh, waiting. Okay, loading. It's always loading here. So make sure when using middleware, if you allow them to pass to next middleware to handle your request, make sure you add the next. Otherwise, it doesn't work. After I add next, now it works, right? Users, okay, everything works. So for this video, we just show you a basic, in a, what's it? A basic knowledge or intro about middlewares. And we will see lots of middlewares in the following videos. So that's it for middleware. And uh, if you have any question, you can leave a comment and uh, hope to see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Have a good night.